Okay, Kill Team Into The Dark. So I haven't done any content for this game so far, but what I will say is that's mainly because I've kind of been avoiding as much content for this as I can because I've been so excited about it. Um, so in terms of my kind of gaming passions and what I like, I really enjoy whether it's board games or RPGs or you know stuff like this, skirmish. I really love a dungeon crawler. And I've been really taken by what's in this box. Um, or at least what I've seen of it. I did close my eyes to a lot of it for a long period of time. Just because I wanted to know. I wanted my first experience of it really to be when I looked in this box. Um, so I've been really, really looking forward to this. Delivery was delayed by a couple of days. So this is up a few days after it's come out. Um, but that would not diminish my kind of how much I've been looking forward to this. Uh, now, this isn't the only content I'm doing for this game, so I'll be doing at least a paint guide for the uh, the walkways and the terrain and that kind of stuff, So, but that will be coming up in the next week or so. Now, let's have a quick look at what to expect. One, when we do open it, this is a big, heavy box, it has to be said. Um, right, so we've got the Kroot, the Kroot Farstalker Kin Band, and the Imperial Navy Breachers. Um, obviously, I've seen some of this stuff. Uh, I've seen the the, uh, the the kill teams themselves, although I've not taken too much notice of them. Um, but the, I mean, it just looks amazing. Um, really, really excited about this. Uh, especially, I'm more excited about getting my getting my hands on the actual Into the Dark book than anything else. So. Let's get in and have a look. So, like I say, this is a heavy old book uh, box. Lots and lots of content. So, what have we got here? That is a kind of half um, crude sprue, which is pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, and there's the full rest of it to go with it. So maybe what we'll find is that later on when this develops into 40k, maybe we'll find that this will be the actual kind of um, army unit. And this is the extras like we have with the other Kill Team releases. Right, one full sprue of Navy Breachers. Again, this is very detailed. Now, from this, got all human heads here, or, or unmasked heads. But I can't see any of the helmeted heads on here. So maybe there's another, maybe there's another sprue for these in here as well. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Right. So we've got a sprue of some of the kind of the non-war elements. Uh, we've actually got two of these. So they look good. Right. Got some walls and pillars here. All oh, right, yes. Okay, so we've got two sprues. Look like this. The kind of longer wall sections with the doorways. Doors are separate from the doorways. Um believe that the doors are movable. Another in a minute. Du, 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 du. Okay, two another duplicate sprue of alternative wall sections. The other thing I did start working on the other day was a. Um, I'm working on my own board for this. I'm just making a kind of a terrain board. So I'll, if that turns out good, I'll definitely release some content on it. Um, right, two more sections here. 
these the same. Yes, they are. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six large sprues of terrain and two sprues of the kind of scatter terrain. Um, and then we've got another kind of half sprue or smaller sprue of uh, the Navy breaches. This includes all those helmets and that I was looking for a minute ago. And then we've just got our range rulers and some barricades and all that kind of stuff, general stuff there. Okay, so that's it for the plastic sprue or smaller sprue of uh, the Navy breaches. This includes all those helmets and that I was looking for a minute ago. And then we've just got our range rulers and some barricades and all that kind of stuff, general stuff there. Okay, so that's it for the plastic. Okay, right. So let's get to the meat and bones of it. Now, so let's go through this stuff in a minute. 10 dice, same ones as we got in the Octarius box set. Bases for all of our models. Our card packs. So these, I believe, are identical to the ones that we got in the Octarius set as well. So I probably won't even open these. Um, but I will check online to see if they are, if they have changed any. I believe they are identical. Okay. And then we've got a board. And the board itself, I believe, is smaller than um, than the standard, the other standard kill team boards. Now you won't be able to see um, the exact size of this, but let's have a, a little look. Okay, the board itself is very cool. I like it. Um, I notice it as being discernibly different though from a standard kill team board. Um, but I'll be doing more stuff on boards in another video. It's very nice, I have to say. Very cool. Um, yeah. Look at that. Has there been a xenomorph there or something maybe? But yeah, very cool. Okay. Right, so books. Let's get a bit closer on this. Okay, so here's all our assembly guide and that kind of stuff. Cool. And um, here's all our tokens. I don't instantly see anything new. So I think that they are all identical. Then we've got two books. Okay, so the core book, uh, I believe. Is identical to the core book released with Octarius. Uh, da, 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 da. Looks the same. Same number of pages, I believe, is it? 144, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to be identical. Um, does that now here's the important bit the into the dark book so um this feels weightier than the other books we've seen that we received with the other expansions so this is the moroc book this is the biggest of all the expansion books so far including octarius um and this weighs in at 96 pages this weighs in at 120 so this is not far off the same size as the rule book so a, a decent sized publication um we've got here um i th do you know i think it's absolutely criminal the games workshop have been selling these books here for 27 pound 50 it's pure madness um 
yeah, I don't know what more to say on that really. And um, there's no way they're near it, especially when you consider that. Uh, let's have a look. Well, I have to say, I'm very surprised. They just checked all the other books. And although the books themselves are different thicknesses, they all come in at 96 pages. But yeah, 96 pages for £27.50 for me isn't on. Right, okay. That's cool. So we've got information on the Space Hulks, which is the setting, the Galadar. Um... So this is all kind of narrative stuff, boarding the Gala Dark, information on the Imperial Navy and their kill teams. And then the breaches specifically. Okay. Names and demeanor, fair enough. So this isn't the rules yet. Okay, and then the same sort of information for the Crute, which is quite lengthy. Name the news. Okay, so the actual rules themselves. Um, go through the army lists. Let's get to the actual. Okay, so one Navis Sergeant at Arms and then 11 Imperial Navy breaches selected from the following list then it's got all of our stuff we can make all of this stuff with the sprues that we've received um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so that means we can i think it probably means that we can make up two of the three navis gunners so they have got las volleys melter guns and plasma guns Hey, your kill team can only include up to two of those. Other than Navis Armsman and Navis Gunner Operatives. Your kill, kin, yeah, your kill, kill team can only include each operative above one. So that, that's basically saying that this is your kill team. You may have to select, make some decisions about what you go for with the gunner. And for that... We we'll obviously need to go and have a look. Let's have a quick look at the gunners, actually. So, so the gunners, let's have a look. The uh, Las Volley, six attacks, three, three damage, four and a crit. Melter gun is fours, and that's six and three. Six and three. Seems weird. And the plasma guns is five and six on a standard and on the supercharge. Right, cool. Um, all the same sort of stuff as we would expect, usually, all their abilities, their tack ops, which I like to make cards for. Geist skull. Lots of movement on the Geist skull. Interesting. Okay, yeah, but it all, all looks really cool. Okay, Nervous Breacher Spec Op Rules. So, more details on their equipment. Okay, Strategic Assets and Requisitions. So, all of this stuff is you know, more or less what we get with the other expansions. The Fast Stalkers, uh, their Tac Ops ploys, and all that sort of stuff. And again, Operatives, one crew kill broker operative equipped with one of the following options. So with either a rifle and blade, pulse carbine blade, or pulse rifle and blade, and 10 of the operatives. And again, so we've got some decisions to make for building here. And so what we'll need to do is we'll need to have a good analysis on all of the... Um, on all of the different pros and cons that we've got here. So for example, 
Um, the pulse rifle, four attacks on a four up, doing four damage or five on a crit. Or you can choose the pulse carbine, which is exactly the same stats, except it only does four on a crit. So I don't know why you would possibly go for it. Um, The Krupp Rifle does slightly less, dam less damage, but it's a three up to hit and wound. So, um, yeah, obviously. Obviously, that's why. So they're all nine, eight, nine, eight wounds. All eights there. Eights, there's a seven there for the Hound. What was the, uh, the Breachers and the same sort of thing? Seven, seven, There's sevens and eights. Sevens is a five there, five, ten for the endurance. Uh, eights and sevens. So, yeah, more or less the same. Maybe stacks in the favour of the crutes a little bit, but not massively so. Okay, so very cool. Details of equipments, requisitions. Okay, so the kill zone, the gallow dark. Here is all of our different rules for the different different things. So the walls and wall sections, it's got all the information for that. And examples of how cover works with those. Okay. And the hatchways, whether it opens or closed. And examples of that. This is quite in depth, really. Very good. Um, ancient apparatus and pipes and gallow dark barricades. More more information on close quarters. So actions, so they can go on guard. On how and how these all matter differently to the game. Hatchway fights. This is really cool, you know. This is a massive development of the game. So it, I suppose they're right to to do a whole new season on the um, on this setting, the Gallo Dark. And I'm assuming that maybe this season the terrain will interact. So we will. I'm hoping use some of our existing terrain with what comes out with the next run. I think in about three months time. Because they are really adding quite a lot of new rules. Okay, all right, here we go. Here's lots more artwork. Here's what all the different kill teams look like in the Gallo Dark. But we'll forgive them because it is an amazing setting. Setting up the terrain. This is cool. So here's our key for all the different things we get to make up. Long walls, long walls of pillars, long walls of hatchways, long walls with hatchways and pillars, short walls, short with hatchways, short wall with hatchways and pillars. And all of this stuff goes together. Um, and it honestly looks pretty delightful. Okay, so... Shadow Operations into the Dark Mission Pack. Hmm. Reinforced Chamber. So all these there's different setups with different assembly for the terrain as we go through. I really like the way that this is presented. Very, very cool. Information on the Gallo, Bar Gallo Dark Expedition. So again, it looks like some pretty cool narrative style options here. Expedition map. Well, I'm not entirely sure what this is. I'll, I'll get into this and do a review of it, but I'm very excited about this kind of thing. It looks like we'll get a real cool evolution of the game now.
critical operations, Gallo Dark mission pack. Lots more there as well. Okay, narrative data slates. Right, very cool. I'm loving all this. I like this as well. Nice key reference on the back as well. I'm loving it. Really, really cool. Um, I think this is a great evolution of Kill Team. Um, I'm really looking forward to the next season on this as well. Three more releases. We'll see what they are like. But that's where I'm going to leave it for now. Um, back to back early next week with Kill Team. So I'll probably have my paint dyed up ready by then. And I'm going to be doing my kind of hobby project for a new board as well. So expect that hopefully next week as well. So thank you very much for watching. If you want to buy this expansion, you can do at Element Games. Just use my affiliate link that is in the description and I'll get a teensy little kickback, but you will pay the same price. It will just help the channel. So if you want to help the channel, that is the best way to do so. But there's other ways in the description as well. So thank you very, very much for watching. Much appreciated. I'll see you all again very soon.